60 second economics on the incidence of an indirect tax. Now, the key here is to illustrate the incidence or the burden of the tax between producers and consumers. Link it to price elasticity of demand. As we'll see, when demand is price inelastic, the consumer bears the biggest burden. This diagram is vital for evaluating the impact of taxes on demerit goods, for example, in reducing consumption versus raising government revenue. So here's a diagram where demand is relatively price elastic and we have an indirect tax imposed. And you can see that most of the burden here is paid for by the supplier. They have to absorb most of the tax. Whereas if demand is price inelastic, a producer can shift the burden, pass it on, or most of it in this case, to the consumer by raising the final price. In this situation, demand is perfectly price inelastic, zero PED. Demand won't change at all if the price goes up, and therefore the supplier can shift the entire burden of the tax onto the consumer. In this situation, supply is perfectly elastic. The marginal cost of supplying each unit is the same. And when supply is perfectly elastic, again, the imposition of a tax will lead to a rise in price equal to the tax per unit. The consumer will pay all of the tax.